Yeah. It's me, Last One Seventy Nine. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of PFs, one game. I can just walk in and out of the first store. Hello, gamers. It's me, Vice Pillar 79. It's my show. Glad to be back. And uh, Hello, gamers. It's me, Vice Pillar 79. It's my show. Glad to be back to do another video. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about um, going to the SGC, uh, the Screw Attack Gaming Convention that will be held down um, this year, July 11th through the 13th. Um, I happened to get some tickets through my wife for uh, Father's Day. I scored some tickets, early tickets and stuff. Um, she already sent me the information. I had the, um, the luxury of being able to attend last year and it was phenomenal because it was actually one of my first gaming conferences to go to or con gaming conventions to go to. And it's more central towards retro stuff. I mean, they, they do display current gen stuff. But what I'm excited about is uh, all the guest panel that will be there. They're going to have like the discussions. That's one aspect of things that will go down. Um, another thing, um, some of the guests that will actually be there that I'm excited about is KG, uh, is KG and Fooney, um, the creator of Mighty Nine or Mega Man, another basically we're considering as another Mega Man, uh, Game Chaser, Screw Attack Crew, uh, Mega 64, Pat the NAS Punk, Angry Video Game Nerd, Did You Know in Gaming. Um, I had uh, last year Adam Sessler was there and one of those crazy ironic things was I bumped into him at the ticket booth while I was registering and getting my ticket for the day because you got to go up there even though you're already registered and everything you just have to go put your name in get your badge and stuff like that so I thought that was pretty cool um, other things that was interesting that they're continuing with they're going to have console competitions or tournaments, I should say. Um, they do, um, I know for sure, right off the top of my head, they're definitely doing GoldenEye. Um, they're also doing, uh, uh, not Perfect Dark. Uh, I'm trying to think of it. Uh, oh, Killer Instinct. The new Killer Instinct for Xbox One. They're doing a, a competition for that or a tournament for that. So that's pretty cool because at the end of that, of course, you win a nice little prize. They haven't told us to give away yet. So um, that was pretty cool. They're doing cosplay. So that's really awesome because people, um, even though it's hot as hell down there in Texas, this one dude, he had a full Master Chief outfit on. And I mean, full armor and everything. So I thought that was really dedicated to it. Um, so they're doing that again. They have the arcade area where they have old school arcade games and stuff like that. And they also have like Indie Heaven. Indie Heaven consists of indie developers. They're all going to be there um, displaying either a demo or a live play or actual play of their, their full game. Um, and so you get to play all different types of games. So I got to meet a lot of indie developers last year. So I thought that was cool. And then they have an area where they have all the retro stuff old consoles all the way to the current stuff right on display to where you can play them so i got to test out like because i never got to play the wii u and then a few other consoles that i never played i got to play them last year so that'll be going on so they'll have the arcade machines they'll have the retro stuff they'll have indie heaven the tournament the guest panel but also um, what will be happening as well is that there is another area kind of like a store area where People that are um, selling doubles or just selling off certain parts of their collection, they have their own table and they're pretty much going to have a whole bunch of games that you can just pick from. I'm looking for TurboGrafx-16, GameCube, Super Nintendo, stuff that I don't run in all the time because I'm always running to the Xbox, PS2, Nintendo. You know, some of the stuff is just like common down here, whereas those games, those systems are a little bit more harder to find or the prices are a little bit higher. So... I'm looking to find something somewhat reasonable. Um, the next announcement, as you can see, I'm wearing my uh, PS4 shirt. I actually got that through some points um, that I hadn't used, and I ended up getting the shirt for free. 
But the big thing is I pre-ordered the day after the announcement. I ordered the Glacier White, uh, pre-ordered the Glacier White bundle with the uh, Destiny game with the 500 gig, 30 uh, day PlayStation Plus. Also uh, the $10 gift voucher or the uh, gift card voucher that you can use. Um, I was just looking for the right time to get one. I, I, I've been wanting a PS4. It's never been a secret. Um, I kind of wanted them to go through their first few shipments, get all the bugs out, and hopefully they have by now. You know, and so I was just looking for the right time because it's pretty much how I got my PS3 and my 360. I got them through a bundle and pre-ordered them. So what better way? Um, it won't be released till September 9th. So I have to wait until then. So. But that, that's fine with me. Um, that'll give me time to buy some games and stuff like that. Because there's been plenty of games on sale. So I'm pretty pumped about that. And um, during the E3 event for Sony conference, they had one down here. They did a live stream, not the actual conference. But um, they were giving out posters. And one of my coworkers, he knew that um, I'm a big Sony fan. So he brought me back a poster. Um, he actually brought me back a beta key card for Destiny. But unfortunately... I couldn't use it because uh, I didn't have my internet to stream it. Um, so that's the only thing. But yeah, this is my nice little PS4 shirt. And um, definitely, if you see me at the conference or you plan on attending SGC 2014, let me know uh, down in the conf uh, comments. Uh, look for me. If you spot me, say hi. We can chat it up or whatnot, whatever, it may, whatever the case may be. But um, other than that, I'm Lightspiller79. I'm out.